A secret lab with around 20 potentially infectious agents inside, including COVID-19 and HIV. More concerns are rising over the illegal Chinese bio lab discovered in a California warehouse. China expert Gordon Chang says there are undoubtedly more of the labs on U.S. soil. Entity's Jeremy Sandberg has more about Chang's take on the discovery. Fresno County authorities first discovered the unlicensed laboratory in Reedley, California in March. Officials closed the site at the end of May. The lab was operated by Chinese medical company Prestige Biotech. It contained at least 20 potentially infectious agents, including the CCP virus, HIV, hepatitis, herpes, E. coli, and malaria. Roughly 1,000 white lab mice were also found. China expert Gordon Chang told NTD Stefania Cox it would be safe to assume more labs like it exist in the U.S. This has been called mysterious, but we know enough and we have to be extremely concerned. You know, this lab was supposed to be making COVID-19 and pregnancy tests, but they found a lot of things in the lab that are inconsistent with that explanation, including at least 20 agents for various diseases. And also there were about a thousand white lab mice there that were genetically engineered to carry pathogens. So we have to assume that this was a biological weapons facility in the United States, probably was gonna spread disease in the months before uh, the Chinese planned to launch a war in Asia. And there are undoubtedly other facilities like this in the US. That's our assumptions that we need to work under. The lab was found roughly 40 miles from Naval Air Station Lemur. I think that the purpose of the lab was maybe not so much infecting personnel at a military installation, but just a general biological weapons attack on the American people. Chang says it's an act of war, and those involved should be sent to Guantanamo indefinitely until the matter is sorted out. I think this is part of uh, China's plan to weaken the United States. With, with regard to COVID-19, I think it was genetically engineered, maybe 98, 99% probability of that. But Steph, there's something that's 100% certain, and that is that once this disease got out into the Chinese population, Xi Jinping decided to spread it beyond China's borders. You know, in critical times in December 2019 and January 2020, they lied about transmissibility. They told the world it was not contagious when they knew that it was. And while they were locking down their own country, they were pressuring others, especially the U.S., to take arrivals from China without restrictions. You put those two things together, and the only conclusion is they wanted to spread this disease. Now we find this facility in Reedley, they want to spread another disease. A federal criminal investigation into the lab is ongoing. Jeremy Sandberg, NTD News.